Hello, my name is Charles Smith. I'm a docent here at uh, LeMay America's Car Museum, and I'll uh, be presenting a talk today about uh, if cars could talk, and we'll be talking today about Eddie Rickenbacker, Rickenbacker the man in the automobile. Eddie Rickenbacker was a famous uh, World War II pilot and ace of aces in, of the American forces in World War I. Uh, had 26 victories in the campaign over there. Prior to that, he grew up in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, was a poor child, uh, had to drop out of school in the uh, seventh grade uh, after his father died. Uh, did all sorts of work, uh, worked for automobile com companies, and then uh, became a race car driver and raced from 1910 to 1916. Was very accomplished race car driver, drove in the AAA series. He, Drove five times at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, five out of the first six years that the track was running the 500 mile race. Finished as high as 10th, he qualified as high as 2nd, and he was a very accomplished racer. Uh, his last year of competition in 1916, he finished 3rd in the Drivers' Championship. Uh, prior to World War I, uh, he was uh, sent to Europe to be a driver as part of uh, General Black Jack Pershing's uh, driving staff. He drove for Colonel Billy Mitchell, who later became General Billy Mitchell of the Air Force, and uh, uh, learned how to fly a, as a maintenance officer in one of the squadrons, and then became a pilot, and uh, he won the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, and medals from France also uh, as his uh, ace and the 94th Aero Squadron uh, victories during World War I. After the war, he dabbled in planes and automobiles and other companies. Uh, he eventually uh, got a group of investors together and established the Rickenbacker Motor Company. And Rickenbacker cars were built from 1922 to 1927. They were a, a very reasonable priced car, but had a lot of features that made them very uh, good cars to drive and own. There were about 35,000 cars produced during the uh, five-year period. Uh, Eddie tested many of them and helped design the car. Some of the features of cars we have here, the 1924 Rickenbacker, uh, it was a six-cylinder car with twin Fox flywheels, a forward and aft flywheel, made the engine very smooth. And Rickenbacker was the first affordable car that introduced four-wheel brakes on the automobile. It right? had front wheel as well as rear wheel brakes. Unfortunately, uh, uh, the company didn't survive until uh, 1927 when they had to go out of business. And then after that, Eddie uh, became an airline executive. He worked for General Motors for a little bit and then became uh, the president and chief executive officer and, and, and later chairman of the board of Eastern Airlines. Uh, while he was at Eastern Airlines, he had a couple of uh, uh, incidents and the main incidents was a terrible crash in 1941 outside of Atlanta where it was severely injured and almost died uh, one of only nine uh, survivors of the 16 on the airplane uh, he was in the hospital for four months and, and managed to survive and then after that World War II started and he was sent on a mission from uh, President Roosevelt and Secretary of War Stimson to the Pacific to deliver a message to General MacArthur in New Guinea uh, their plane, a B-17, uh, crashed after taking off from uh, Hawaii on the way to the Pacific and uh, the eight people had to survive in three life rafts. Uh, one died in the ordeal, but they managed to stay alive for 24 days in the Pacific Ocean before they were rescued. Uh, very little water. Uh, Captain Eddie is known for captain capturing a seagull that landed on top of his hat. Uh, ring his neck and they ate that for food and they hadn't eaten food for eight days and managed to survive that and use uh, parts of the seagull to fish for fish and managed to catch a few fish. Uh, caught rainwater in their uh, in their life rafts to, to drink and were found uh, after the the search was almost given up they were found and uh, brought back and later on he did more uh, work for the army in World War II uh, again, was a very successful uh, executive at Eastern Airlines, which was uh, a very famous and, uh, and successful airline on the East Coast and all across America. And he died in 1973 back at the land of his home, uh, his parents in uh, Zurich, Switzerland, and uh, had a stroke in 1973 and died. But one of the most famous men uh, in America in the first half of the 20th century. I think you'll find the show on the man as well as the car very interesting to uh, uh, see and study and thank you very much for your uh, uh, attention today and uh, we'll see you around the LeMay America's Car Museum.